Alright, where are we going, Titan? We are going to pick up the caravan. Pick up the van. Mm -hmm. So pumped. It is what, 6 o'clock in the morning? I'm going to need keys to start this car, or... That would help. Jeez, yeah. I'm excited. Jeez, thank <laughs> keys. Phone there. Jeez, we are packed to the eyebrows. Everything ready for the van. A couple of days south. Right, we're away. 6 o'clock in the morning. Woo! Let's go on the freeway and go and pick up our new home. Yahoo! Our home on the wheel. Sacrifice we make to get down and get what we want to get. Car is still on the block. <laughs> Putting a uh, working on the road. Working on the road on the road. Good practice when we do our lap. Beauty of your car is job check is logging remotely. Come on the laptop, do a few things. And uh, she's done. Can't be done. Can't be done. If you want to get something in life, you just got to uh, motivate it to uh, make the right steps to as long as everyone else has had to wait so we've done pretty well there so <laughs> we reckon babe love it yeah 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 it looks pretty amazing it looks really amazing yeah. pretty yeah. tough on the outside well the wrap corner is all on the top ah go well, got a logo on there time to take it on a few trips hey yeah definitely Bloody hey. so we made it we're here We've come down, we've gone all the way from bloody the top of WA nearly, not, not quite the Kimberley, but the top of the Pilbara, all the way down into the southwest of Bustleton. I'm here with Sarah from Caravan Culture. She's been absolutely amazing in getting this underway. Um, Cora and Tayden and I, we're all wrapped. Um, there's basically here, wrapped. We're wrapped the liner. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're wrapped. It's, we're, we're done. It's finally finished. It's taken about 10 months. I think we were here, um, we we're down in Perth, I think it was, was it May, the uh, what was the? March. March. March was the car camping, caravan camping show. And we came with an idea in our head. Uh, we rocked up to the Royal Flair, um, sorry, to the caravan culture and Royal Flair tent. Bill was there. Yep. Bill would come over. Um, we had an idea. We sort of spoke with Sarah and Leo uh, and Bill about what we wanted to do, where we wanted to take this van and want to change a few things. And nothing has been too hard. So um, I'm going to get Sarah to go through it with us now, about what we got, and uh, we'll go from there. Right guys, so the Raptor comes with a standard sort of package. Uh, there's a few different things that we've actually upgraded. We wanted to change with the amount of remote stuff we do. Uh, we go off grid for a long time. We did with our uh, toy hall that we built and now we've actually you know, got, obviously got the van. We wanted to pretty much be able to do the same thing. Go off, off grid, remote for as long as possible. So let's we'll get Sarah to go through a couple of things that we upgraded on this. We won't go through everything. I'll do that in another build video later. Uh, I'll pretty much go through everything with a fine tooth comb. But for now, I'll probably start with the power house, eh? Yep, so we've upgraded from the Enerdrive 2600 watt package to the Enerdrive 3000 watt combi, which comes with two 300 amp hour lithium batteries, a 3000 watt combi inverter, uh, solar panels on the roof, so it's yeah, 
epic system to get you off grid. Yeah, spot on. So I think we're running about 600 watts of solar at the moment. So plus um, we're on the uh, car itself, we're going to have 400 watts, and then we've got another little 200 watt sort of blanket that we can fold out. So basically, we can chase the sun with with the car with the blanket if we need to. If this if the vans end up parks under some trees or whatever, and we don't get a lot of solar or whatever the case may be, we can still chase with a good 600 watts of solar. Um, if we got everything in the sun, we're getting 1200 watts and we'll fill up this battery system real, real quickly. So, so basically what that means is if we have full sun, we're going to get 1200 watts of solar. So there's no point having a heap of batteries. No point having six, seven, 800 amp hours of batteries and only 200 watts of solar. Because if you can't replenish that, if you can't replenish your batteries, then there's no point having them. Um, it just doesn't make sense to do that. You know, you're going to constantly run your vehicle or run a generator. And the whole point of this system is so we can stay without a generator. I don't want to lug a generator around everywhere. So what else we upgraded? The suspension, didn't so we? the suspension, instead of having the control rider from GNS, we've upgraded to the Cruise Master ATX and Level 4 Air. So basically, I've been pondering about this system for ages. I've been researching, researching, researching. Basically, the way I understand this system is I can set a ride height and no matter what, uh, weight I put in this van no matter where it goes what angle it's on the airbags the actual actuator in there will automatically level the airbags so say uh, you know empty the van weighs whatever it weighs and I go and put another 800 kilos in it that ride height stays the same the, the, the compressor and the airbags automatically allow for that and it always stays the same so you don't have to muck around with ride heights and putting more pressure or less pressure in your airbag so with that spot on uh, what else oh, ribs, thighs, yes yep so we've also upgraded to the king's ribs uh, so when you upgrade to the Cruise Master ATX, it's very easy to put the rims on, which now also suits the car as well. So yeah, that's right. So on our cruiser, you can see we run the King's Hurricane uh, in the satin black. Um, so now I've got the same stud pattern, uh, same rim, same tyre, 33 inch, you know, ridge wrapper. The same tyre, rim, everything is all the same, interchangeable. I can put rims, like, like tyres from the caravan onto the car and vice versa from the car back on the van. So, yeah, we'll take three spares um, and if we end up needing more spares, so be it. But I think three spares, the fact we can change everything is going to be more than enough for us. Uh, so that's just a really good system that makes it really um, versatile, you know, really user friendly, so to speak. Uh, what else? Uh, how much water we got? We have four tanks and one grey water. So that's the maximum water that you can have. I think there's 190 and then 360. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so geez, we're just shy of sort of 300 litres of water, of fresh water that we yep. can take. Plus, you know, grey water tank if we're in a national park. Like, stoked. Happy days. Thank you so much. Couldn't have done this without Sarah and Leo from Caravan Culture down here in Bustleton, Southwest WA. So, if you're in the market for a Royal Flare, make sure you get on the phone to them. All right, I'll put all their details in the link in the bio and I'll chuck their uh, little bloody at sign for the Instagram. All that sort of jazz. I'll chuck that here somewhere. Plug them in there. Yeah, I'll put a plug. But yeah, get on them, follow them. Yeah, awesome. And the customer service couldn't have been any better. We've had a few hiccups with this van with COVID, as everyone has, and it's just been absolutely no dramas uh, above and beyond, um, to even to the point of we even use their personal van on one of our trips because ours wasn't ready. But that doesn't happen for everyone. All right, thanks, guys. We'll leave it at that. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Cheers. Okay, Sarah, so where is our bed? Where well, do you sleep? We have an electric bed in this model. So the bed, main bed sits up here, and then the couch here, you can turn that into an additional bed if you wanted to. There is a video on our YouTube channel, which will be tagged in the link, I'm sure. Um, so if you drop the table, drop the cushions, drop the bed, use the pathway, or you can drop it all the way down and then have a lower bed. So here's the bed lift up control. Push a button, and down we go. I like that. That's a really cool feature. And then obviously bunk beds behind for the little squirt, hey? Yeah. We got a ladder down here. <laughs> so we got a ladder sleep. down here and a TV. Yeah. It's the best thing ever. Um, so obviously we made a few changes in here. Yep. You're going to have to remind me what they are because we did a few. Um, obviously it's very versatile uh, with changes that you guys can make as well. Can you yep. just touch so on that? So instead done? of having a combined sink and three gas burners, we've gone for the separate mini grill and the sink, the black upgrade. Uh, this tap also has a water filter. So if you see this one here, if you turn this, uh, when your pumps are on, that will be filtered water coming out, and then this one is just for your mains water. We've upgraded to a microwave, we've removed the radio speakers um, to gain an extra cupboard as well. 
cupboard space was probably our my number one goal for inside. The more cupboard space, the better, I think. So that was really cool that we could expand that cupboard yeah. space just by removing the stereo. I mean, for us, we use the Yui Boom or portable Bluetooth speaker, so having one inside um, didn't really make much sense to us. So. Yep, we've yeah. also upgraded to piano hinges. If you're going to go off-grid, definitely recommend the piano hinges. It'll just mean that your cabinetry is not going to move around as much. Obviously, any gravel road, you do need to be mindful that you are going to have to adjust things. And bathroom, if you want to, well, our ensuite, if you can swing around here. Um, so, we've obviously got the washing machine. Definitely wanted one of them because we do go off grid a bit um, and away for a while it's handy to have to just do your little bits and pieces so I'm actually looking forward to giving that a try. <laughs> so the washing machine's a mini Daewoo and we've also upgraded the cabinetry, cabinetry to be flush to the ground instead of being tapered in just to gain that little bit of extra cupboard space as well. And obviously the nice black finishes in there too. Yeah. Yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with the inside. Um, any changes that we made um, were very easily compensa well, compensated, done, whatever you call it. Um, there was no dramas in making any changes, let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful band, beautiful colours, and yeah, we're so happy for you guys to be able to get off on the road. Yeah, love it. I think the girls did it right there. Eh? <laughs> yeah, it's spot on. <laughs> Right, guys, so we're signing off there. Basically, uh, Cora, Tate, and I are going to do a big go. We're going to go through the whole lot uh, with you. Probably later on this trip, actually, as we make it back home. Little Grom, he'll go through a few things with you that he likes about it. But basically, yeah, we're going to spend the next sort of day or two setting up on the beach, um, putting all our bits and pieces in different holes and you know, ba uh, barbecues in and all that sort of stuff. But we'll leave it from here. We'll let uh, Sarah get back to it. She's got the uh, full driving camping show. Yep. yep. McAllen Park at the moment. Um, so that. Now you, know, now you know when I film this, because I'm sure the editing video won't come out until another month down the track. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, stay tuned, and we will show the rest of the van later. Daisies blooming Sundress swaying in the breeze Can't stop steering You've put a spell on me I hope you never sad set me free. The way you're moving, it's got me moving my own feet. The greatest feeling that I could ever dare to dream. Hey guys, so basically what happened is last night we came in, um, it was real dark, uh, the place is pretty packed down, we've never been here before, so the caretaker sort of flags down and let us park up in this sort of, sort of basically for buses and coaches and stuff like that. Um, being that I've never been here, I dropped the tyres right down to 25 PSI straight up. I don't know if the tracks are going to be sandy or not. So we've just gone for a bit of a recce this morning, uh, Clayton, Cora and I, and found a corker little spot on some cliffs. It's, um, it's fairly fairly hectic to get there with a the van and tow, it's pretty tight and narrow and real rocky and that, so we'll film all that, but what I'm going to do is basically pump my tyres back up to about 40 psi. Um, we've got a lot of weight in the van and I just don't want that sidewall exposed on some of the rocks that are, we're going to be coming up against. So I've got the, the, the ute tyres still on 30 psi, the van's going up to 40 just so I can hide that sidewall. Um, and basically yeah, we're going to go and tackle this track to try and get up stay another night here on top of these cliffs and if we get there there's gonna be a bit of pin striping Cora was sort of uh freaking out a little bit because well, I think we've had the van for 72 hours probably not even maybe 48 hours and uh he's already gonna be scratched up so stay tuned we'll film all that and uh see how we go See a few pinstripes coming on the new van, sweetheart? Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Not that I'm going to be very thrilled about it, but we bought it for. I think if we make it all the way through to this spot that we found, it'll be worth it. Oh, worth it. So we basically just jumped on this little tight track and um, throw the GoPro out the window and show you sort of how tight it is. A bit of brush on the side, Not, nothing crazy, but it gets into a fair bit of rocky country. I've just had to um, pump the tyres back up again on the van basically just so I can hide that sidewall. Um, keep an eye on where this bloody van sits. And there's a couple of spots in this track that go real off camber and it's going to throw the van around a bit, but I'm hoping being so new to this van we've got the atx the cruise master atx the auto leveling um, airbag sort of thing so i'm hoping if it gets too off camera you know we can just use the airbags to level the van out as we go through somewhere so we're not going to get any roll sort of in the in the van or anything like that but we'll soon find out see what happens stay tuned first told me your name I didn't hear a word you said Better was written all over my face Should have known it was you I would love until the end So This rocky road is what we are going to take the van up on As you can see, this is not the most ideal road to be travelling on, but I reckon our Raptor can handle it. Let's give it a crack. That you could see it in my smile. Should have known it was you I would love until the end. I don't know where this road leads. All I know is I want to go with you. I am sure I want to live it with you If you look into my eyes When our time down here is spent in every single line Hope you know it was you that I loved until the end
Morning crew. So we're uh, shooting off out of here. Cora's inside just packing up the van. We uh, were supposed to get up and catch the sunset, uh, sunrise, sorry, this morning. Uh, didn't happen. Um, so basically, yeah, we're shooting back back all the way up to um, top of Pilbara now. Uh, this is just our one little stopover to get the van back home. Uh, we didn't go through everything with you. Uh, like I said, that's going to be in another video when we learn everything ourselves. But went through a few things. Um, Sandy Cape, chuck it on your list if you're going around Australia or if uh, you're in WA and you haven't been here yet or whatever the case may be. Chuck Sandy Cape on, beautiful little spot. Um, especially where we are now. I'll chuck a little dot on the map exactly where we were and uh, yeah, jump in here, make sure you pay your, your park fees and all that sort of stuff. It's 20 bucks per car per night and that is for two adults and two kids and then it's an extra three bucks per adult and an extra three, two dollars per kid. Uh, dogs are allowed as long as they're on a lead uh, and you're holding on to them all the time. So um, mad little spot and we basically had it all to ourselves. Just north of Durian Bay. Beautiful. No. So we just got up the hard runs we're worried about. <laughs> I nearly had a heart attack. I might have taken out a couple of little trees. Just a little. Little ones. Little ones. <laughs> There's the quad. Look, they, they were little, but I swear when they hit the side quad of the- Quad caught the branches. Oh, when the top hit the, like the top of the van, I, I swear they were babe. like boulders. <laughs> That's what it felt inside. We got up there. That is the reason why I wanted to leave so early in the morning because um, the sand is still damp uh, from the dew, it's still compact, it hasn't had the chance for the sun to hit it and dry out and go all real powdery. So just a little tip, if anyone doesn't know, towing, even if you're not towing and you're heavy, um, it's always going to be easy to drive on the beach or dunes or whatever uh, early morning or late evening sort of thing when it's um, a bit chewier, more compact and the sun hasn't made it all powdery. So uh, my tyres are still right down. Uh, I could have gone a little bit lower, but I was worried to come around that corner if they were too soft and rolled a bead shit place to do a tyre here. Um, so yeah, basically through the hard part, let's get into it. Hopefully, this will get easier. <laughs> right, that was, that was the first one, that first was the one down. One. <laughs> Hardly even a mark after that one. Uh, a couple in the wrap. Flip right. That's what the wrap's for, honey. <laughs> oh well, it's memories, right? That's right. Happy days. Plug back in. Easy done. That's why you pay the dollars for quality gear, because that was over some, like, yeah, pretty full on ruts. I did put both lockers in on the cruiser, uh, just to get through some of those dunes, and then um, over some boulders and stuff like that. Cruise Master absolutely ate it. Right tire pressure, uh, makes all the difference. Just on there, buddy. Just pump up the tires. What are you going for? 45 PSO. Ink tire. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of your jobs, isn't it? Yeah. You're pumping tires up with Dad. You're doing a great job there, buddy. Great job. What are you doing, babe? Cleaning out the pooper. <laughs> hey, and you can't ever say that I haven't done it because you got it on video now. So that's a you job. One thing we said. I was like, it's you. It's all you, Kyle. I'm not doing it. I'm like, I don't use it. So it's, it's got to be. It's got to be her. I finally convinced that she's got to at least do one time. How are you going with that? Good. What are you up to? 45 psi, right on the dock. Beautiful. Next tire, eh? Yep. Everyone's got a job. Teamwork makes the dream work. I'm now going to do the van tires. Uh, beauty of having the uh, the airbags 
is we've got a secondary uh, compressor in the van. So basically, um, yeah, I'll show you my airbag. Get a little kit from Airbag Man, which is pretty handy. Pretty handy. Yeah. So basically, I'll use the um, the cap. Yeah. Ah, I've got the cap here, mate. In my little pocket somewhere. There you go. Thank you. Don't lose the next one. Yeah. So basically, I'll show you with the uh, with the ATX. Uh, yeah, you get the onboard compressor, and it's got a pretty big air tank as well. So basically. Yeah, this. So I just plug into there and away we go. Mm. What do you got? I'm 38. 38? No last time? Huh? No last time? Yeah. Sweet. How'd you go, darling? Just want to know, it actually wasn't so bad, so you have no reason to complain. Ross. <laughs> no. Not for me. She has poos in it. She can clean it. Right, eh? I'm um, done with the tyres. Guess you got the van. It's got a 10 litre air tank, so tyres go up real quick every time you muck around, fills your air tank up. And uh, yeah, basically, we're good to go. Let's get out of here.